Watermelon and yellow mustard, trust me on this, it is so good. Grab yourself a juicy watermelon, cut that baby up, juicy. Get yourself some French's yellow mustard, it has to be French's. Pour that sucker on, and cheers. It's so tangy, it's so vinegary, and it matches so well with the watermelon sweet juiciness. Trust me, this is so good. Keeping it super real with you guys, I don't like wasting food, so I'm honestly doing this video because I genuinely believe that I might find a food combination that is so unexpected but delicious that's gonna change my life. It might be this one. So we got two slices of watermelon, if you could call this a slice. Every TikTok creator that you're gonna see in this video, you can find them in the description down below. Credit is very important. And the person who made the yellow mustard watermelon combination, you'll see a lot from them in this video because they've got very unexpected combinations. So we're gonna start with the yellow mustard watermelon. Ooh, would you look at that? Did we ever do the mustard? Let me do it on this one. Okay, I feel like I did the exact same amount. That smells like it goes together, so I'm gonna give it a try. It takes a while to get used to it because my brain is like trying to put it together when my brain knows it shouldn't be putting it together, but I like it. Vinegary and sweet is the best way to describe this. I like it. This might not be for everyone. I love vinegary taste. So for me, this is an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. Every single time I eat a banana, I ha First of all, I don't want to hear nothing about no bananas are nasty. We get it. You have bad taste. Moving on. Every time I eat a banana, I have to eat it with peanuts. But not just regular, regular peanuts. You have to get the honey roasted kinds. And apparently you're supposed to peel it from this side, but actually, let me try peeling it. Maybe this side, it, oh, wow. It just comes right off. You know, humans live life harder than we need to, but I'm not about to get on my soapbox. This is about a banana. Anyway, so you just grab a hand full, just like this. Toss it in your mouth. Um, bite the banana. Mm, it's a party in my mouth. First of all, I also want to experience a party in my mouth. I might go ahead and make that my Twitter bio. Actually, that might attract a whole different... Anyways, I got these bougie honey and salt roasted peanuts. I mean, these are incredible on their own. It's already a party in my mouth as it is. So, um... Wait, which one did you go first? Was it the banana or the peanuts? Doesn't really matter. So let's give it a try. Okay. And... Wow. A journey. It's a ride and I'm getting a second ticket. It really reminds me of baby food, this combination. It's sweet, comforting. This is very, very good. When it mixes in your mouth, it almost becomes oatmeal. I can't really explain it. It's very, very good. I would say this is an 8 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving this a 10, it's because it's not entirely unexpected. So for that reason, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Yo, what y'all know about Sprite and Skittles? What I do, open the bag up, put the Sprite right in. max i'm telling you gotta try this annoyingly i could only find this huge bag of skittles at the supermarket so this better be worth it because i'm about to ruin a full-size bag it's a lot of commitment just tasting for safety control we're gonna go ahead and just put the sprite inside there's not a lot of space for the sprite but i want to believe it's going gray <laughs> this does not look good you're not missing out it's green now Every time I add it, it changes color. I don't know if you can see the bubbles, but this is not a beautiful sight. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen, but let's give it a try. 
it tastes like it's got alcohol in it. It literally tastes like a tropical cocktail in like the Bahamas or something. I have no idea what it's going to taste like when we have only the Skittles. I'm going to try to put the water out. I will enjoy this later. On the inside, they kind of lost the color. It doesn't look as gross as I would have thought. Oh my god, this is so good. It's incredible. Wow, it's truly life-changing. This is the easiest stand I've ever given. Orange Fanta and chocolate ice cream. At Alaskan, that sunflower says it's amazing. My BF is like WTF is she doing now? In my head, OMG. That is not a mixture I was expecting to like. You have to try it. I was debating whether I should actually use good quality chocolate ice cream for this. Like, is this going to be a waste? But I want to believe that it's going to be good because it really did seem genuine, like the reactions in the video. There goes... One scoop of chocolate ice cream. That's like $10 in there. At least we're not pouring it directly into this. That's an idea. I don't drink Fanta a lot. I don't know why, I kind of just forgot it existed. This might change my mind. So, we're gonna pour... Wait, I'm only gonna do a little bit to begin with and then try to mix it and then put the rest. That's what Gordon Ramsay would do. His spirit would just leave his body. He would have an instant exorcism. It does melt really easy, so the method, the technique, it's very plausible right now. It's not fully melted yet, but this did melt in literally like 10 seconds, most of it, so now... We just, I'm not gonna do too much because I do want to get some of that chocolate. It looks like a chocolate milkshake. Am I wrong about the color of this? Oh, it's very creamy. It almost doesn't move, that's how creamy it is. Why does it taste perfect? This makes the chocolate taste better. This makes the Fanta taste better. It just goes perfectly. That is what I was looking for in this video. This is a perfect pairing. If you take anything from this video is to try this. Even the chocolate pieces go well with the Fanta, which doesn't make a lot of sense. This is a 10 out of 10 if I've seen one. If they sold anything that tastes like this at Starbucks, well, I would buy it. <laughs> Guys, you should try this combination. Prexa, this one. Oh, I have one here. With condensed and almeal, You're gonna love it. Try it and let me know. Mm, my makeup. So good. For once, we got the exact same pretzels as they used on TikTok, which doesn't always happen, so. That's not a pretzel. That's way too thin. So we're gonna try this with the condensed milk. I think this is gonna be delicious. This one is not entirely unexpected. I can see how this could work. It might be better than we're expecting. So in that way, it could be surprising. You can ask any of my friends. Every year on my birthday, I eat a whole can of condensed milk with a spoon. That's my version of cake. It's like, I just need the condensed milk. I think this might actually be really good. This literally looks perfect already. Like visually, it does not get better than that. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Wow. It tastes like cake batter. It tastes like birthday cake flavor. Oh my god, this is so good. Wow. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. This is the definition of Moorish. If I wasn't filming this video, I would sit here and I would eat the whole bag. 20 out of 10, this is the best one so far. Keep in mind that condensed milk is my favorite thing in the entire world, so I would love this. Wow. Nana and mayo, trust me on this. It is so good. The most important thing is to have a very ripe banana. If it has brown spots like this, that's what you want. As for the mayo, you can use anything, any mayo you like. And from then on, it's pretty straightforward. You just peel the banana, add a nice dollop of mayo, and then you eat it. Mm, it's so sweet, it's so creamy. It's like you're eating a really savory, rich banana custard. When I say trust me on this, trust me on this. Mm. At this point, I have no idea what to expect. Like, this might be the greatest thing ever, and I'm not even entirely sure if this would surprise me. This creator does these videos with so much enthusiasm that I think they could sell me anything. Should we just dip the banana in here? 
Well, when your banana doesn't fit. Can't wait for that to be taken out of context. Should I use the squeezy option? The squeezy option. <laughs> like this is some premium technology. Ooh. Okay. Why does it look right? It looks like icing. I'm manifesting that this is gonna taste incredible. Well, it tastes like a very creamy, like, pudding or something that is a little bit sour. I don't hate it, because if I did, I wouldn't be putting more mayo in it. It's not an immediate hit like some of the other ones. Like, for example, the mustard with watermelon immediately did things to me. This one is like, I get the vision. I feel like it's not matching perfectly, but it's not horrible. So I don't know if this is a joke, and I am the joke at this point, but... I like it. I would give this a 7 out of 10, which I think is pretty good for such a strange combination. It's not unexpectedly delicious, it's unexpectedly not offensive, which is also how I describe my personality. I believe in this one so much that I actually went ahead and actually steamed the milk. Like this is, look at that. I think this is gonna be incredible. So my ice cream is actually a little bit too melty for this, but oh, oh it's going chocolatey very quickly. So now I'm supposed to just enjoy it like this. It's not really a combination. I mean, I guess it is, but it's not like a shocking one. Um, second of all, Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I can't really explain, but I feel like I've just watered down ice cream. Like, this is the first time in this video that I'm actually feeling bad for the food that I just ruined. You can see the ice cream does get softened up and the texture is nice, but the milk just literally washes the ice cream. It makes it taste like water. Don't do this with expensive ice cream. I mean, you might like it. This might be like your thing. Mm -mm. To me, this one's wasteful and is a little bit stupid. I would have rather enjoyed the ice cream and just drink the glass of milk on the side. I'm not saying everyone's gonna agree with me, but I'm just gonna say that if you try this, try this with the cheapest option of ice cream at the supermarket. This is like a four out of 10. What am I gonna do with this now? Like, I'm mad. <laughs> Don't do this. My dad keeps trying to convince me to go to McDonald's and get like a vanilla milkshake and put like a shot of espresso in it. It's good. It's good. Fine. We'll try it, we'll try it. Vanilla. Yep. Um, one espresso single shot. It's not bad. It's amazing. It's amazing. Something tells me just from looking at this that this has been requested like times a million. They figured out how to insert the espresso in there. They probably shipped like 40 million of these to die alone. I'm gonna try this. I really believe in this. It's a gut feeling, but I believe this person's dad. Like this has to be amazing. Second of all, McDonald's coffee is incredibly underrated. I've mentioned this like six times in my videos, but I swear they have better coffee than Starbucks. My milkshake is a little bit like melty. Wow. So I'm gonna put it in there whole thing. That is beautiful. I need like a ceiling camera or something, but like that literally transformed color. Oh, you can kind of see it. That was like the most beautiful from white to like the creamiest brown. I just know this is going to be really good. I'm going to try it from the top. Wow, it's so thick. I feel like I went into, wow. <laughs> I expected good. This is the best thing ever. I've never had anything at Starbucks that tastes like this. Like, I swear, this is incredible. This is a 100 out of 10. I'm not getting paid for this, but I want you guys to live life to the fullest. <laughs> it's like a cloud. It barely tastes like coffee, which is perfect. Like, this is so, so good. I do feel like this will take ages for you to get to the bottom because every time I move it, like, the vanilla comes back on top. So make sure you mix it really, really well. This is the best thing I've ever had from McDonald's. 100 out of 10. There's no other way to go with this one. Kimchi and Rice Krispie Treats. Trust me on this. It is so good. Grab that Rice Krispie Treats. You can make some from home, but it's just easier if you just buy it. And of course, the representative from Korea, kimchi. And it's super simple. Rice Krispie, kimchi. Cheers. Mm. This is a perfect combo because this is sweet and crispy and this is salty, tangy and crunchy. What can I say? It's like a Korean hot Cheeto. 
I'm not crazy about Rice Krispie treats. Like, it's just not something I've probably eaten this maybe once in my life. I watched the video and I believed for a second. I think this is the exact same Rice Krispie square that they use in the video. My only request is for me to please not associate this with kimchi forever because I don't want to ruin my favorite food. Let me enjoy it one last time. This is what they've done. Kimchi, Rice Krispie. I am so suspicious that there's some witchcraft, some secret Illuminati knowledge to this because how does one come to the conclusion that this tastes good together? Because it does taste good together. Like, there is no way around it. It actually tastes pretty good. It's like the creamy of the marshmallows with the spiciness. I honestly cannot describe it, but I promise you this is good. I'm as confused as you are. This person knows something that we don't know. That's the only explanation, because how do you get to the conclusion of these two things pair nicely. That's some scientific level, some access to secret research. I wouldn't say that it's a 10 out of 10 because it is a confusing flavor, like it creates something confusing, but also super balanced and that it combines at the same time. So I would give this like a, a 7, an 8 out of 10 maybe. I'm done. Okay, stop what you're doing because I'm going to show you something that's literally going to change your life. If you don't put cinnamon on your watermelon, you're making a mistake. Trust me, go try it. It is the most phenomenal thing you will ever have. I don't know what it does. Oh my God. Seriously, stop what you're doing. Go try cinnamon on your watermelon. Oh my God. There's gotta be some type of science as to why the cinnamon like amplifies whatever. But, oh my God, go try it. You're welcome, you'll thank me later. I think this one isn't expected in the way that cinnamon doesn't usually go on fruity stuff. So I've got some cinnamon and we're just gonna sprinkle on top of the watermelon. That's an interesting color, so. That is the only possible way to ruin watermelon. Like this. It literally creates like a dry mouth feeling because the textures are so like, oh, I have issues with textures and this is literally my worst nightmare. Maybe I put too much cinnamon. That's possible. I mean, I did add quite a layer, maybe just a little sprinkle. This is literally my personal definition of hell. It's like the textures in your mouth, like they don't go together. So it's like, I can't explain, but it's the opposite of smooth. What's the opposite of smooth? It's bitter, weird texture. I literally cannot stress enough how this does not go together. Maybe with some sugar so you could forget about the texture because there'd be some crunch. That is possible. As it is, this is a zero out of 10. I don't say this lightly. I'm so glad I didn't sprinkle the whole box because I was gonna ruin this. Zero out of 10. I already know there's someone in the comments gonna be, but in my country, cinnamon and watermelon is like a traditional cultural combination. Sorry, it's bad. It's my opinion. It does sound disgusting. Disgusting enough for me to try. And I just re-upped on my Nutella anyway. So let's get into it. If it ain't busting, we gonna be fussing. And I don't want to bite in the comments if I say it's nasty. Like, well, what kind of pickle did you use? Was it hot and spicy? Was it bread and butter? Was it dill? A pickle is a pickle. Y'all be wanting to know if I got the pickle from Peter Piper himself. Listen, if it's nasty, it's nasty. We just want to deal with it. Now, I don't want to dip my whole pickle in there because I use this for other things. So we're just going to be a little ghetto and use the top. And I feel like y'all be suggesting stuff that y'all don't even really eat your damn self. But I'm going to trust you because it's Tuesday. I just want to say that honestly this video was the highlight of my whole week so even if this doesn't work I'm happy that I got to see this. It's one of those that it's going to live in my memory rent free. Uh, we've got Nutella here and we've got pickles. Wow, love that. Very similar to what they've done in the video. I am not going to dip my pickles in there because I feel like that's what people are trying to get us to do because I think this is basically a prank. But I am going to put the Nutella in the pickles and if this is good, I'm gonna keep it super real. We've enjoyed worse things before, so. It's good. <laughs> 
That's how good it is. <laughs> it tastes exactly like a, a relish, like a hot dog relish. I honestly love this. I'm not even joking. <laughs> this goes together perfectly. If you enjoy relish on hot dogs, I think you would enjoy this because it's got a very vinegary flavor with also very sweet. I'm not entirely sure if the chocolate goes together with it, just keeping it super real, but it doesn't clash. Like it's like it belongs there. For that reason, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Probably scared away a lot of people. I like it. Carrot juice and Oreos. Trust me on this. It is so good. People eat their Oreos with milk, but dude, carrot juice is the way to go. Just pour yourself a glass of carrot juice, grab a handful of Oreos, and then just put it inside of the carrot juice. Let it sit. Once it gets nice and soft, cheers. Mmm. It's so good because it has two different kinds of sweetness. The sweetness from the Oreos and the natural sweetness of the carrot. Plus, it's healthy. Mm. I just thought about it. I take everything back, everything good that I said about this person because there is actually no way. Like, this is where I draw the line. It does not matter all the things that tasted good before. This one, carrot juice and Oreos, is not going to go together. First of all, I know this is out of my league because... <clears throat> because I can't open it. I didn't even know the carrot juice was a thing. It's like funky orange juice. Uh, let's do this the same way we would do it if this was milk. Oh, these are all broken, which I don't even think it matters. But this is see-through, so hopefully you guys will see everything that's going on. Or the orange, the carrot juice. I literally hate myself for doing this. It's not like I would drink this, so I don't feel as bad for wasting it. So I think in the video, he mentioned something about letting this soak. The orange juice is going like gray. Shout out to me using transparent bowls so you guys always know what's up. Oh, that is weirdly soft. Let's get some of that carrot juice. I don't even know how it's possible, but it's honestly not as bad as I thought and as you'd think. If you're watching this and you didn't actually try it, I know it doesn't make any sense, it's like our brains can't comprehend, but it, it's actually not horrible. Altogether, it tastes like carrot cake. I think it's the creaminess of the Oreos, the inside goes so well with the carrot juice. However, the chocolate goes okay with it. The longer it sits, the better it is. I know it doesn't make sense, but this is good. Initially, I was thinking this was like a five out of 10, but now that it's super soggy, it tastes even better. I think this might be an eight out of 10, and I'm just as embarrassed as, as you can imagine. That was it. We've peaked here. I'm gonna put you on to something that's going to change your life, okay? Ready, this is step one. Okay, after you wash your grapes, take them off the vine, leave the water on there, do not dry them, and put them in a gallon Ziploc bag. Do not use a container. I made the mistake the first time. Everything got stuck. We couldn't eat anything. It was awful. So take everything off and put it in the bag, and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have the whole bag of grapes in there, take your jello packet. This is like an extra big one, so I'm probably just gonna use like two thirds, not the whole thing. And just dump it in there. If you want to be even healthier, use the sugar free kind. But I don't really care. And then you're gonna just shake, make sure they're all fully coated, put them in the freezer until they're frozen, and I'll show you the results. Final result, here are the grapes. They're amazing. This is what they look like, they're coated. Oh, cold. That's really good, don't eat the whole bag. I actually had to go and check my videos because I could have sworn that we had tried something very similar with grapes before. I remember calling it the Sour Patch Grapes. Then I went to check and on the previous time that we tried to freeze grapes with flavor, we actually used lime juice and sugar. So this is a slight variation to it. I've already tried this, that's why the packet is already open. So I put it in the freezer so that we could try what it's supposed to be like once it sets, even though it's only been like an hour, so it's probably not fully frozen, but you know, we're going with vibes only, no science allowed. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this jelly. Uh, for some reason, finding jello in the UK is so difficult. It's literally impossible. So these are called strawberry flavor jelly crystals. It smells really good. I'm mixing it um, and I'm just hoping for the best. I did not try it, even though I made this before, but it looks really similar, I think. If anyone's got extra jello at home, uh, please send it to me. <laughs> Leave a comment below. I need those American flavors of jello. I constantly need this for videos, so I'm not joking. 
please send it to me. <laughs> so this is what it looks like now, and I'm gonna get the one from the freezer, but keep in mind that it might not be frozen, but let's pretend. So this is the one we just made. This is the one straight from the freezer. They do feel really solid, so this might be frozen, actually. Um, looks really similar. Okay. Oh my god, I am speechless. This has the consistency and the flavor of gummy bears. This literally, like if I close my eyes, I would think this is a bloated <laughs> gummy bear. Like, oops, <laughs> not anymore. Oh my god, it's a gummy bear. It tastes grape and strawberry together. It tastes exactly like a gummy bear. I would say easy 10 out of 10. Not up to discussion. Peanut butter and instant noodles. Trust me on this. It is so good. Get a cup noodle, any kind. It doesn't matter. Prepare it as you normally would. Add in that seasoning packet. But before you add in that hot water, add a scoop of peanut butter. Just one spoon is fine. And then you add in the hot water. Cover and wait. Once you've waited, ja, itadakimasu. It's so savory and satisfying with a little bit of peanut butter, almost like pad thai. Almost so good. Mm. I'm only trying this because I want to prove a point. This person has to be wrong about something. At least one of them has to taste disgusting. And I think this is the one. One thing that stuck with me with this one was that he said that any kind of noodles would work. So we're using chicken and mushroom noodles, which is very much something that does not go together with peanut butter. Basically trying to prove a point with this one. So we've got some peanut butter here and we're just going to um, mix it in. I don't really know how much peanut butter. That seems like a good amount. Oh, the noodles are actually a bit dry. Oh no, I just didn't mix it. <laughs> Never mind. That looks <laughs> the way it smells, which is not great. Confusing. Uh, which is also what my lower intestine is saying after this video. Oh, the peanut butter made this very creamy. Oh, I hate that this is starting to look good. <laughs> is this like the White House Barack Obama's personal chef or something? This person knows something. They've got some intel. How do they know that adding peanut butter would make the noodles creamy? It doesn't smell great though. I don't think this goes together really well. So let's give it a try. It might be that the flavor ruins this. Hello? 911? Yeah. Um, I would like to report a case of witchcraft. How? How do they know this is gonna taste good? This doesn't make any sense, like... Who's mixing peanut butter with noodles? Why is it good? I will say though, in my defense, this is probably the weakest one. I would give this like a 7 out of 10, which still makes me very upset because... I just don't understand. Like, someone will let me know in the comment section, maybe I'm stupid and these are foods that should go together, but did you know about this? Did you know that peanut butter and noodles are a thing? Well, I'm mad. I feel like we could go on. There are so many videos on TikTok. If you know any weird combinations from TikTok that you want me to try, the best way to reach me is on my Instagram DMs. So, DM me on Instagram, I will put it to test. But for today, I feel like we're done because surprisingly, I liked 90% of these products. So I didn't feel like I wasted any food. Before you go guys, very annoyingly, I will ask you to subscribe and switch my notifications on. I literally hate it more than you guys that I have to ask you to subscribe and switch my notifications on. And I'm still mad. So I will see you guys on my next video while I try to uncover what kind of witchcraft this is. I'm an idiot. Bye bye.